This tied up man and woman are entangled in a giant python and could be eaten in the next second. Legend has it that deep in the Amazon rainforest lives a mysterious tribe that uses snakes as totems. Human scientist Kyle was so intrigued by this that he and his girlfriend, Daryl, put together a camera crew and traveled to the Amazon rainforest together. The group sails a boat deep into the rainforest and encounter a storm on the way. They see a man stranded in a boat that has broken down and Daryl lets him into his boat. It turns out that the man's name is Serang, and he is a professional snake catcher. He offered to show them the way. Darad accepts, but Serang is not as simple as he seems. And with Serang leading the way, the group arrives at a river. That's when a fork in the road appeared ahead, and Serang and Kyle had a disagreement, but the crowd prefers to trust Kyle's route. Just then, a rope accidentally got mixed up in the propeller and Kyle volunteered to go into the water to repair it, but was attacked by an unknown creature under the water. Serang performs emergency surgery on him, saving his life for now, but he must be rushed to the hospital for treatment as soon as possible. Darad had no choice but to abandon his filming plans and return the way he came. That's when Serang immediately stepped in and pointed out a supposed shortcut. The crowd didn't think much of it and heeded Serang's advice to change course. Before long, a curtain wall appeared on the river, and Serang proposed to blow it up. Daryl agreed to Serang's suggestion. The man is suddenly attacked by a python in the water. What is going on? The crowd realizes that they seem to have blown up a nest of snakes and many small snakes land on the boat. Everyone rushed the boat to escape. After traveling some distance, the crowd spots an abandoned boat on the shore. Serang suggests going to the boat to get some fuel. So the captain, Serang, and Danny from the camera crew board the derelict boat together. Serang got on board and was very familiar with everything on board. It turned out that the boat was Serang's former snake hunting boat and his purpose was to look for the snake catching tools that had been left behind. When the three returned, a huge python suddenly emerged from the water and swallowed the captain in one gulp, seeing that the time was ripe. Serang also revealed his true colors. He first persuaded everyone to give up their original plan and join his snake-catching brigade. As long as they captured a giant python, they could all become rich overnight. Everyone is unmoved, but only Gray from the camera crew hesitates. He makes a private deal with Serang. After Saling and Gray control the others on the boat, they begin his plan to catch the snake. That night, the python took the bait. Unexpectedly, the python was so strong that it quickly broke free from Saling's snake trap. After a lot of tossing and turning, the python fled, but it killed Jerry on its way out. Seeing that his plan has been ruined, Saling loses his temper with all the people on board. To take back the initiative of the team, Derry seduces Serang, and Danny and Jack tackled Serang and tied him up. The man is being swallowed by an anaconda. Danny's mishandling of the boat while sailing alone causes the boat to break down again. The crowd has no choice but to launch the boat and push it. Jenny, who stayed on the boat, wanted to take the opportunity to kill Serang and avenge her boyfriend Gray. She was kicked into the water by Saling. Meanwhile, the python in the water is slowly approaching the three people repairing the boat. Derry and Danny, who returned to the boat early, escaped for the time being, while Jack in the water was the first to be hunted by the python. When the python rushes out of the water to attack Danny, Darad grabs a shotgun and blows the python's head off. Afterward, the two are sneaked up on by Serang. At a critical moment, a seriously injured Kyle swoops in and gives Serang a shot of anesthetic before knocking him into the water, alive or dead. At this point, the only three people left on the boat continue to escape. But before traveling far, the boat's fuel is about to run out. Daryl and Danny find a few barrels of fuel in an abandoned factory. At this moment, the wounded and undead Serang suddenly appeared again, tying the two together as bait. The plant is the python's lair. Sure enough, an even bigger python appears. Serang activates the trap and traps the python. However, the python quickly breaks free and swallows Serang in one gulp. The python sets its sights on Daryl, who is off to the side. Derry introduces the python into the chimney, 
and Danny ends up fixing the python's tail with a pickaxe before pouring gasoline inside the plant. The moment Derry climbs out of the chimney, Danny ignites the fire and the python is blown away. But the snake is very resilient, and within a few moments, begins a new round of attacks on the two men. Danny finally kills the python after some effort. The three men who survived realized that the tribe of indigenous people they were looking for was not far away, 